Toilet joke, uh, toilet gate. I totally messed that up. Toilet gate may sound like a joke. A toilet joke is something completely Toilet different. joke is different. This is not a joke. But the allegations, they're really no laughing matter here. In her new book, Maggie Haberman of the New York Times confirms a habit of the former president that wasn't just unhealthy for the White House plumbing. It was bad for the presidency as well. What you're looking at is two photos, one from the White House, which is what the one that uh, looks like it has carpet on the bottom. The other is from an overseas trip that a Trump White, source, uh, White House source provided me. Again, as you say, people are going to make all kinds of jokes about toilets and so forth. It would still be a story if it was a fireplace. And the point is about the destruction of records, which are supposed to be preserved under the Presidential Records Act, which is a, a Watergate era uh, creation. What's up, everybody? Major retired Richard Ojeda here and flushing records down the toilet. Come on. What kind of two-bit pathetic criminal does such a thing? Oh, right. Donald Trump. Talk about disgusting and forget the toilet jokes for a while. I mean, this level of blatant criminality is disgusting. And this person or excuse for a person was once a sitting United States president. But you reported that White House insiders were telling you about the destruction of key White House documents. That's right. And John, look, we knew that uh, Trump had a habit of ripping up paper and that people had to tape it back together. My colleague Annie Carney, when she was at Politico, reported that story. It was one of, I think, the most important stories that was written during the Trump White House. This is different because this meant that they couldn't be preserved. And so what was happening was um, White House resident staff were finding uh, pipes were clogged um, with paper that they believed he had flushed down. I had additional reporting afterwards from people confirming that Trump had indeed done this um, and that it happened on at least two foreign trips and in the White House throughout his presidency. Folks, it will take ages to get over the embarrassment of Donald Trump. This guy redefined corrupt politician. It literally would not be possible for any elected official to ever be any worse than Donald Trump. He led an attack to take over the entire government and every moment he spent in office was spent either gearing up for that coup or erasing the evidence of his crimes. Who knows what this paper was? Only he would know and presumably whoever was dealing with it. But the important point is about the records. Yeah, I urge people to zoom in. You can see it's a Sharpie. You can see it's his handwriting. How is his camp responding to this, Maggie? Uh, they, these were published uh, by Axios, by Mike Allen first, and I believe the a spokesperson for the former president gave a statement um, suggesting that you know it requires desperation to, to run something like this. Uh, that's fine. I mean, th this would be a story regardless of who the president was. My blood boils whenever I think about January 6, 2021, and for so many reasons, in part because we saw this coming for months in advance. In early 2020, Trump was claiming the election would be rigged, knowing his only chance to retain power was to try to steal it. He told the Proud Boys to stand back and stand by, and guess what? They did. An honest first grader can see through Donald Trump like glass, but because of a right-wing propaganda, grown adults believe it's a good idea to hand everything that our society is built on, our democracy, over to a reality star who doesn't even grasp conservative political positions in the least. And these same people will pass off the destruction of records, which keep in mind is an absolute crime, as some insignificant thing, or of course the ultimate cop-out, fake news. It's really pathetic when a dirty politician can get off from all accountability with nothing more than idle rhetoric. When in world history has the sitting president of a civilized country marched as the leader of a protest against their own country's government? It doesn't take Sherlock Holmes to figure out Trump has guilt written all over him from head to toe and all through Washington, D.C.'s sewer system as well. This is the most obvious open and shut case any of us have ever been witness to. And here's the thing. Shouldn't the president of the United States be held to a higher standard than anyone else? Shouldn't the oath you take and the duty you swear to the American public, the Capitol Police officers, America's Congress, and democracy itself mean a greater obligation and a higher standard of conduct? This man committed treason on the highest level we've ever seen in the modern age, and the punishment should be swift, absolute, and severe. And that's what I'm waiting for. The January 6th committee is still working hard, and they're unearthing more evidence each and every day. It will be absolutely fascinating to see what they come up with next, and absolutely critical will be how our nation will respond to Donald Trump, because this shady two-bit con man should be securely behind bars for his assault against America, and there's no two ways about it. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.